hard, man. So look, I'm going to start doing something a little bit different on my channel, right? So I want to start just making these intros simple and quick. You feel me? So without further ado, man, go ahead hop into this video. This is Ken, only white people be racist. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on IG. At the moment, bro, we sitting at like 420, 430, something like that. So yeah, go ahead follow your boy on IG, you feel me? Hey, it's free. Without further ado, man, if go ahead hop into this, John. Let's get it. Let's go. Every race is capable, capable of being prejudiced, yes. But I don't think every race is capable of being racist. I think what it's doing is creating a division amongst people and giving uh, people power through their emotions. What's facts. going on, everyone? James Klug here. Boy, that is straight facts. That is straight facts. Honestly, dog, I'm not even going to lie to y'all, bro. Me, personally, racism, to me, means simply, I feel like everybody could be racist. Bro, You do people realize that half of the time we're racist to our own race? Like people don't th people don't see that, bro. The definition of racism has changed over time. That's what people think. That's what people think. Technically, racism is still the same today. People just think it's all a, it's this or it's that, but they literally changed the definition of racism, bro. That's what people have done. They did it by the emotions. You feel me? They did it by their emotions. They don't go by the actual definition of racism. You feel me? It's crazy. Leftists have started to redefine the word racism. Such. I just said that, bro. I swear I did not watch this video, bro. I did not watch this video. And I just, man, come said on. Said only white people can be racist in America. So can only white people be racist? Today we're in Los Angeles. We're going to find out. Let's go talk to some people. Can only white people be racist? Systematically, yes. No? No. What yes. do you think? Okay, so no, we got a yes. Interesting, so we disagree here. You guys can kind of be racist, and like, the only reason why I would say only is because systemically, there's more power there. Oh, that's a... Bro, what power? What power? What power, my nigga? What power? S systematically, yeah, like... Bro, what? The question was simply, can only white people be racist yes or no not systematically yes because you guys have power what power what what power are you speaking on ma'am see y'all need to stop listening y'all need to stop watching the news y'all need to stop y'all need to stay off social media because bro they is brainwashing the crap out of y'all real talk they is brainwashing y'all come on <laughs> That's a very scandalous one. I, I don't know. I don't think so. Can only white people be racist? Negative. Everyone can be racist. No. Perfect. No. Could you define racism for me or at least, you know, do your best? A system that favors one group over the other one and uses state policy to enact it. it Nigga, what? Huh? <laughs> and this might be my own people. Like, ah! It be my old people that say the dumbest things out their mouth. My own people, bro. Listen to his definition, and we go compare it to the actual definition, okay? Uh, let me get the actual definition up, okay? Now he got part of that right. You feel me? He got part of that right. But then you start to go on to some other stuff. You start to go on to your emotions, bro. You feel me? You didn't even stick with the actual definition. You start to go on to some other stuff that's not even actual definition, bro. Come on, dog. Hold on. Let me. Let's pull up. Let's actually pull up the actual definition. Okay. Everyone can be racist. No. No. Could you define racism for me, or at least you know, do your best? A system that favors one group over the other one. Now that I do agree, I do agree with that part. But this other part. And uses state policy to enact it. State policy to enact it. Discrimination or antagonism directed against a person or or, or people on a base on a uh, basis of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic ethnic group, typically one that are that in minority or marginal. Yeah, I, I couldn't read that. I'm not even go cap to y'all, boy. I was not trying to plan on reading in this video. <laughs> boy, I look mad stupid. I couldn't even read. I couldn't even read half of that stuff. Look, man, it's like. It's 10, 11 at night, you feel me? I'm, I'm low-key a little tired, you know what I'm saying? But I had to get to, I had to go ahead and get this video out to y'all. But y'all see the point, you know what I'm saying? They changed the whole definition of racism, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like any anything 
like everybody could be racist. You feel me? Everybody could be racist. There to this answer, there should I mean to this question, there should never be no other answer besides can only white people be racist? No. Not only white people get braces. It should be no yes. It should be no, I think so. Or I don't think so. Like it shouldn't be, it literally should be no. Not only white people could be racist. Black could be racist to their own color. White could be racist to their own color. White people could be racist to black. Black could be racist to white. It's like, that's just a typical racism. People changing into their own emotions and going off their feelings and not actually set set the standard for the actual definition of things. You feel me? And that's why we so divided because we we go based off emotion. We don't go based off the facts. It's just like it, it, nobody cares about facts, actually. You feel me? I know facts hurt. The truth can hurt. Have you ever heard that definition? The truth can hurt sometimes. But in order to get the truth or in order to accept the truth, we have to just accept it. Simple as that. We just have to accept it, bro. Regardless of what the truth is, we just got to accept it. You know what I'm saying? There's no is, no ends, a bust about it. We just got to accept the truth. It might hurt. We might not want to hear it, but this is the truth. It's the facts. <laughs> it's a systematic oppression of somebody who. What the hell, bro? Oh my gosh, bro! They got me. They got me going ballistics right now. <laughs> lower than another person, and so because other races are historically less than white people, they cannot be racist against the higher up, which is the white person. Not individual racism, but systematic race, racism. You know, the definition of racism is uh, the belief that a particular race is superior or inferior to another. Um, also, you know, prejudice based on race. Where did you get that definition from? All the culmination of my learning experience. Is every race capable of that or no? Every race is capable, capable of being prejudiced, yes. But I don't think every race is capable of being racist. Black people could be racist because we're kind of like yes. But I don't or no. Every race is capable capable of being prejudiced, yes. But I don't think every race is capable of being racist. Black people could get this nigga off the mic. Get this nigga off the mic. What the what? What? Huh? What the, get, get him off the mic. Don't go. He don't deserve to talk no more. His time is done. I'm done. Boy, somebody get their uncle, boy. He is over here sounding just straight dumb. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, this is... You know what? Forget forget the video. Some of y'all need the Bible. That's what y'all need to read. That's exactly what y'all need to focus on. Y'all need to feed y'all minds and brains and spirit with the Bible. That's what y'all need, bro. Because honestly, y'all feeding yourselves with this social media and what y'all see on TV and what other people say. Y'all listen to what other people say, but y'all don't want to get the facts y'all So whatever, uh, whatever I could say, I could say the most dumbest stuff. I could say racism. Racism is just, you know, it's just really white people been racist towards black people you know and a person that's brainwashed would literally believe what i just said they will literally believe that they won't even they would never go to do the research themselves so they would go through our life acting just like the acting just like that man straight brainwashed and dumb get him off the mic to be racist because we're kind of like to hold on to uh Every race is capable. capable. Be racist because we're we not listen to him no more. Kind of like to hold on to um, our culture. We don't like other cultures appropriating us, as opposed to like other cultures. I feel it'll be that they're they kind of wanted to emulate our culture. So sometimes we like to be selfish with our own. So to me, that's kind of like racist. Why not share your culture with another? It's power about uh, certain things that are in place. Like for instance, if your camera guy got arrested and you got arrested for the same thing, no offense, but more than likely, I would expect, which is really up, but I would expect him to be put away for something a little bit longer. Like let's if he, say- If he was wealthier than me, would that be the same case? No, I don't think so. Bro, that's the thing. That She said, it's so messed up. Like, you even know that it's messed up that you're thinking like this. You even know for yourself that this is the messed up way to think. But yet, you're still thinking like this. Dog, just because he's black doesn't mean that he will go down for the worst of the worst. 
The same thing a black man can go down for is the same thing a white man can go down for. And the crazy thing about it, we so we so stuck on the fact that white people do all these things to black people or so many cops don't like black people. When honestly, we never look at it ourselves. We never look at black people for ourselves and be like, man, we do stay on the news. We do do the dumbest things. We don't take accountability for our actions. We always blame the police. I could be doing a 95 and a 45, get pulled over, police smell weed. He finds a, he finds some weed. You know what I'm saying? Even though weed is legalized, but if he found a certain a certain amount of weed that you're not supposed to be driving with, police found all that all of a sudden. Oh, he only did it because I'm black. Nigga, what, bro? You just you was doing 95. The police smell some weed. And same thing with a white guy. If a white guy was doing 95 and the police smell some weed, guess what? Sir, can you step out the vehicle? He not finna oh <laughs> but that's just eight ounces of weed. Go. Go ahead, man. Eight ounces of weed, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. Don't ask how I know that, y'all. Okay? I don't smoke, but don't ask how I know that. But eight ounces of weed, that's a lot. Okay? So eight ounces of weed, go ahead. Do your thing. They not going to do that. That's what people fail to realize, bro. <laughs> like, they just fail to realize that we, we are the problem. Not police. Not no, but not white people. We are the problem. Why can't we just be civilized people? Why can't we just be normal people? Why we got to go out and do this? Why we got to go out and do that? And then y'all get mad when people when people say, oh, black people do this, black people do that. Because, I mean, honestly, look at half of the black people and the black Americans. Like, what do we, like, look at what we do, nigga. We do the dumbest things. Why are we stealing people? Why are we stealing grandma purses? Why? They didn't got nothing in there that we won't. <sighs> Anyways. Like, let's if, if he was wealthier than me, would that be the same case? No, I don't think so. Is it a socioeconomic thing or is it a skin color thing? A little bit of both. Some people are saying only white people can be racist. What are your thoughts about those people? Well, I, I don't know who's saying that, but that seems silly. Why do you think they're saying that? What do you think about that? Because they're ignorant. And when I say that, I don't mean in a disrespectful way. I mean that they're just not knowing. So only oh, white people can be sick. OG speaking facts. OG speaking facts. Systematically racist? They're the only one in the position to be systematically racist. And why is that? Uh, because they're pretty much in control of all the institutes, <laughs> all the all the agencies. I think there's also like power politics involved with that and like also I think understanding your privilege that in certain environments you have more privilege like over other races and stuff. If you're the majority or something? Yeah. So like in different environments, certain people are the majority. I think depending on like where you are and stuff. So yeah, that's what I think. LA, who has privilege here? Um, I think I'd definitely say white people have like maybe more like the privilege out here in LA. Yeah. Hispanics outnumber white Americans in Los Angeles two to one almost. You know, there's a the, the DA is Hispanic. The the uh, sheriff is Hispanic. Majority of the LAPD is minority. Well, Can only Hispanics be racist in LA? No, not at all. But they, only whites can be. He, he got him now. He got him now. <laughs> racist in LA? Hmm, that's a good question. It's like double the amount of Hispanics uh, compared to white people in LA. Does that make a. No, I think if you look at it, so they may be more Hispanics here, like in LA, but then. Um, they're not really, I guess, like in position of power and privilege or like really, if you go into... District attorney? Yeah. Man, this, this man right here is so confused. <laughs> he let his girl just get jumped right now, bro. She, it's a 1v, it's like literally, it will, I mean, it is a fair fight. It's a 1v1, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, man, bro, help in, jump in, do something, bro. Do something, your girl getting killed right now, bro. She's getting killed. She's getting murdered right now, but <laughs> like she's getting murdered. She don't know what to say. And you like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. simple. Yes or no? Y'all answered y'all question. And I don't think y'all. I don't think y'all answer was no. So that's why he asking all these questions. You feel me? Yeah, Gus, Gus LA, gone? Like, yeah, yeah. We don't live in LA, but yeah. In LA, can only Hispanics be racist if they're the majority? That's hilarious because of like the numbers game you're completely right but i don't think so we don't know how everyone got here hey it is what it is you know it's none of my business let's say half of them got here legally and let's just say half of them didn't get here so legally okay. 
for them to band together 100%? I don't think so because of just fear, again, for the things that are in place. 50%? Yeah, let's just say 50-50. Let's say 50% came here legally, 50% did not. I don't see 100% them coming together. Yeah, it's like a funny, it's, it's not a black... ...and white, there's a lot of gray area to it. Um, I do think that like other races, like let's say Black people can be racist towards Hispanics and stuff. So I think Thanks. that it's based on that specific experience in that moment. Can only white people be racist? No. Yeah, everybody could be racist everybody can in be racist. one way or another, yeah. That's a loaded question, and it's uh, based on psychology, history, geography. There are black people, for example, who are American black people who come from a legacy of wealth who can be racist against a poor black person. Or what I say, bro? Literally, racism can go any way, bro. I don't care what people think. Oh, white people do this. I don't care what people think. It can go either way, bro. Blacks can be racist towards their own color. You know what I'm saying? And they, they are sort of up and down that they, oh, they don't know how they treated us back then. Man, you, like, I hate when people say that. Oh, you don't know what we've been through. Try being black. Bro, you was born in 2006. Nigga, you ain't been through nothing. You ain't been through a single thing, brother. You, <laughs> you, you, what have you been through? What, what you got your, you got your Power Ranger taken for a day or something? Like, what, what have you been through? You know what I'm saying? Stop, stop thinking that these history books is most is the recent. You know what I'm saying? Stop thinking that history books is recent. In today's time, that we still getting whipped, that we still being sold into. So I stop thinking like that, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all killing y'all own brain cells thinking like that. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I understand how they treat us as black people. You know what I'm saying? But it's a whole different era now. You think, you you see us walking around, picking cotton and getting whipped and psh, they using the, if y'all, if y'all case, the ER, you know what I'm saying? Me, I don't let that word phase me, but I mean, some black people are just sensitive to that word, but I'm not, you know? Cause I didn't live through all this. You feel me? I was born in 2003. I didn't, I barely lived through anything. I've been on this earth for 18 years. I would never sit and say, you don't know what I've been through because I'm black. I would never say that. But the whole thing is, you know what I'm saying? Is that we can be racist to our own race, bro. Our own race. We could talk down on our own race and we wouldn't call it racist. It could just be multiple reasons why a person feels the way that they do, so I don't think that just white people can be racist. What are your thoughts on the people that are saying uh, only white people can be racist? What are your thoughts on that? They're just wrong. That's ignorance right there. I don't know, bro. They must be stupid. There's a big movement <laughs> pushing that, that narrative. What are your thoughts on the people that are saying that? Great question again. Um, I'm from New York. I'm 55 years old, and I come from a time when that was never really used, right? My mother's from the South, Jim Crow South. We never talked about white supremacy. We hear white... Um, white male privilege and all these things and kids are throwing them around and I think what it's doing is creating a division amongst people and giving uh, people power through their emotions and not necessarily on critical thinking or hey, oh my god OG oh, spitting facts OG oh, spitting facts OG oh, you deserve a little dancey dance I'm finna dance for you no homo but you deserve a little dancey dance you deserve a little dancey dance you deserve a little dancey dance bro OG, you speeding, you spitting straight facts. Hold on, I think I think people that's brainwashed right now needs to hear this one more time, because OG is spitting the facts of the facts. I mean, he is going to crazy with the facts. You can blame this man for the flex. <laughs> Come on, man. So we never talked about white supremacy. We hear white, um, white male privilege and all these things, and kids are throwing them around. And I think what it's doing is creating a division amongst people and giving. Bro, oh, hold on. Being, uh, people power through their emotions. Bro, that is so facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, this whole racism thing is literally being thrown around. And it's not been thrown around by anything, but, I mean, anybody. But it's really been thrown, about, thrown around mostly by the kids. Even some of the adults. So, I guess you could say it's been thrown around by everybody. You know what I'm saying? And that's just created more division. More division between everybody, bro. If we literally just come to one stop looking at a skin tone that's number one stop looking at a skin color 
and thinking that that skin color or that that particular person is like the rest of their people. You know what I'm saying? Because people might look at me tatted up. You know what I'm saying? Tatted up. You feel me? Tatted up. I be wearing earrings. You know, I got this pierced. I got a tattoo behind my ear. People probably look at me, especially me being young and black, that I'm this hood gangster that I'm... But at least do they know I'm just a God-fearing man. I'm a God-fearing man. All my tattoos represent God. Every tattoo is a God-friendly tattoo besides this one. This is just my uncle name, but still. You know what I'm saying? And we just need to stop looking at skin tone. We need to stop looking at skin color. We need to stop discriminating others. We need to come as one, be united. We're supposed to be United States. Some people, they come to us. You feel me? We are supposed to be one. United means one. We're together. So far, we just been separate. I mean, it comes by everything, though. You feel me? I don't get it, though. I don't like being separated. You know, I don't like being separated from the people, from my brothers and sisters in Christ. I don't like being separated. But apparently, that's just how the world works, that we all just separated. What it's doing is creating a division amongst people and giving uh, people power through their emotions and not necessarily on critical thinking or anything like that. It's just kind of like a throwaway thing. Think it's a damaging narrative oh without a doubt we're all divided uh whether it's lgbt whether it's racism white black whatever the case is there's all these divisions it's divisions and everything bro literally everything and it's i you know people blame it on the government which is partially true that is facts okay it is it is that is facts that is definitely facts but i also will blame it on ourselves you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we are human. We have the freedom to speak up. We have the freedom to do a lot of things. We have free will. So I would blame it on ourselves. I feel like it shouldn't be unvaccinated versus the vaccinated. I feel like it shouldn't be LGBT uh, community versus the straight community. I feel like we all could just come to one and accept people for who they are. I accept any gay person for who they are. People call me people call me all types of names, homo, uh, homosexual, what, whatever the name is for people that don't support. Like, I feel like I could, I don't have to support it, but I feel like we can still be close. We still could be friends, but I don't have to support what you do to be united with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't have to support what you do. What you do is none of my business. I pray for you, and I pray that you that you get closer with God. That's the only thing that I want out of you. You know what I'm saying? You gay, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. It don't bother me. As long as you ain't touching me in no type of way, it don't bother me, okay? And that's what people fail to realize is that we have to look at ourselves and be like, dang, bro, we are we we really sitting here is it's the right versus the left, Democrats versus Republicans, it is it's liberals versus conservatives. It's like it's just like we're so like divided between every single thing, bro. Everything is a division, everything, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, y'all. I don't really am. And I know half of y'all are tired of it. So what can we do as people, as humans, to make the situation better? Let's stop blaming the government. Because at the end of the day, they can't force us. They can't force us to be united. Because one thing they are doing is dividing us even more. But if we keep pulling towards that and keep agreeing and disagreeing with others, of course we're going to keep being divided. We're dividing ourselves at this point. Come on now, think about it. Because I don't think I'm being forced with a gun to my head that say, get vaccinated. Or, you know what I'm saying? Although, we, I feel like we, you know, I'm not going to speak on that. I can't speak on that, y'all. YouTube, too strong. I can't speak on that. I'm sorry. I can't speak on what I want to speak on. But y'all get the point of it. And we're all, like, fighting against each other on things that we really don't understand and the psychology and history behind them. All right, everyone, that is it for today. There's no doubt that folks on the left are changing this definition to fit their political agenda. But what do you guys think that political agenda is? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, man. Uh, so first off, I just want to say, hey, shout out to uh, shout out to him, man. Shout out to him for even going and asking people these questions because this is this is a question that you know I, I really want to know. I really want to know what other people think, and I got the answer from that. So hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Uh, can only white people be racist, or can everybody be racist? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms. Now below is me, your boy the pen. I live each and every one of y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.